Hi, welcome to Think Human. I'm Chris, and in this video, we will zoom into the universe, down deep into the nature of reality, to see what is the smallest thing in the universe, what is the smallest thing possible. And so, we will start with a human being at the range of about two meters. Going a bit smaller, at about 24 centimeters, we have a basketball. At the size of about 10 centimeters, we have the hummingbird. At about 5, we have a chicken egg and a matchstick. At about 1.5 centimeters, we have a glass marble. And at about 1 centimeter, we have a coffee bean. At 5 millimeters or half a centimeter, we have a grain of rice. At 4, we have an ant. At about 500 micrometers, we have a grain of salt, about the same size as a grain of sand. At 300 micrometers we have a dust mite. Around the same scale we have amoeba. At about 100 micrometers we have a human hair. This is now the limit of what is visible to the human eye. At 20 micrometers we have a mist droplet. At around 10 micrometers we have a cell nucleus, a white blood cell and a red blood cell. At about 2 micrometers we have E. coli these little harmless organisms that live inside our intestines. At around 400 nanometers we have violet light wavelength. At about 440 we have the largest virus. At 200 nanometers we have the bacteriophage, a virus. Also to mention, at around 200 nanometers was the limit of the smallest thing visible to an optical microscope, because with anything smaller the light would just pass right through it. At around 25 nanometers we have the transistor gate. Just five decades ago they were 400 times bigger than what they are now. At 3 nanometers we have our own DNA, the blueprints of all life on our planet. At 1 nanometer we have carbon nanotubes, the strongest material we have ever discovered. And to mention about the scale, 1 nanometer is 1 billionth of a meter. At 500 picometers or around 0.0000000001 meters we have x-ray wavelengths. At the same length we have the cesium atom. At 50 picometers we have the smallest thing visible to an electron microscope. At 31 picometers we have the hydrogen atom. At 1 picometer we have gamma rays, the most energetic and powerful part of the electromagnetic spectrum in our universe. This is around 0.0000000001 meters. At around 15 femtometers we have the uranium atom. At around 5 femtometers we have the electron, in classical terms of looking at it like a particle instead of a wave. And at 1 femtometer we have the photon, a particle of light, and the neutron, a part of the atomic core, thousands of times smaller than the atom itself. In the range of 0.0000000000001 we get to 100 atometers. Lengths smaller than this have not been confirmed. At around 1 atometer we have the up and down quark, the fundamental constructs of matter as far as we know. At around 15 septometers we have the high energy neutrino. Going even smaller we have the top quark at 100 octometers. We are now already deep in the scale of smallness that is truly incomprehensible to the human mind, so these numbers and the meaning attached to these numbers seems kind of fleeting to say the least. At one yoctometer we have the neutrino. Neutrinos do not really react with ordinary matter. In fact, every single second, billions of neutrinos are passing through every square centimeter of your body. So now we get to 10 to the power of minus 24 meters. Uh, just to say, there's no way to really describe, but this is the one of the last decimal points that I will describe to you. Now we're at the scale of 0.0000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000
Uh, this is a video about zooming into the universe. I hope this had some inform interesting information. If you have any thoughts, please share a comment. And thank you so much for watching and take care.